warm welcome to everyone taking time out of their day to join me for Tuesday Tips with Taylor. Here at Always Best Care, we strive to provide solely non-medical care for our clients of the same quality we'd provide that care for a loved one. Tuesday Tips with Taylor is back from a brief hiatus. We've been very busy here at Always Best Care over the past several weeks, including coordinating an Alzheimer's awareness campaign in June called Paint Downtown Purple with the town of Manchester. We want to give a big thanks to all of the businesses who participated in decorating their window front or lobby areas um, with purple decorations in an effort to raise awareness about Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia, along with the free resources available from the Alzheimer's Association. Make sure to check out our Facebook page using the link at the end of this video to see pictures from each participating business. For our first video back, I want to talk about Fragile X Syndrome. A rare genetic disorder, Fragile X Syndrome, or FXS, is caused by a mutation of the gene FMR1, which is found on the X chromosome and affects 1 in 4,000 to 1 in 7,000 men and 1 in 6,000 to 1 in 11,000 women. Not everyone diagnosed with FXS will show signs or symptoms, but males diagnosed do have a lot higher likelihood of showing behavioral characteristics, cognitive issues, and some medical issues. It's believed that men are affected more than women because women have two X chromosomes while men only have one. Often, someone diagnosed with FXS will have a co-diagnosis of autism spectrum disorder. FXS makes up 1-6% to of all cases diagnosed um, for autism, according to the CDC, although autism is usually diagnosed first between the two. FXS can be diagnosed through the Fragile X DNA test and is recommended for anyone who has intellectual disabilities, developmental, speech, or language delays, autism, or learning disabilities where the cause is unknown, or if there's a familial history of X FXS diagnoses. Just like any other diagnosis, people who are diagnosed with FXS or a dual diagnosis with autism can lead incredibly happy and productive lives with the right support. The National Fragile X Foundation offers several resources and webinars for families, including tips for socialization and building relationships. Programs like the Special Olympics can be a great way for people living with FXS or autism to socialize with other people their own age while also having the opportunity to participate in different sports and inclusive fitness programs, which brings me to a really special event that my colleague Dan Storer of Bering Star Insurance is participating in, which is called Over the Edge. From Dan's page, Over the Edge is a fundraising event that raises funds for Connecticut's Special Olympics sports training programs. On Thursday, August 29th and Friday, August 30th of this year, participants of Over the Edge have the opportunity to rappel down more than 30 stories um, from the top of the Sky Tower at Mohegan Sun Casino. Dan is just about halfway to his fundraising goal, and I'd love for our followers to take the opportunity to visit his fundraising page. Whether you'd like to donate or you're a thrill seeker yourself interested in going over the edge for a really great cause, um, this event is to benefit anybody that is looking to partake in Special Olympics here in Connecticut. Check out the link to Dan's page in the video description, um, and welcome back to Tuesday Tips with Taylor. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I really look forward to seeing you guys next time. Always Best Care has been providing solely non-medical in-home care since 2009. If you're interested in learning more about our services or our assisted living selection services, please give us a call at 860-533-9343 or you can visit our website at www.abc centralct.com. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram too so that we can show you how better options for senior living are a priority.